Hello dear students, today I am going to show you an awesome trick to solve a JE mains question in just two steps. Okay, so let us move on to the question. So let us first analyze the question. A block of mass m slides on a wooden wedge. Okay, so this block of mass m slides on a wooden wedge. Okay. Which in turn slides backwards on a horizontal surface. So as this block is sliding down, this block also slides this side on a horizontal surface. The acceleration of the block with respect to the wedge is dash. Okay. So with respect to this wedge, what is the acceleration of this red block? Okay. He has given some m8 kg, capital M16 kg, and all surfaces are smooth. Okay, so all the surfaces between this and the wedge and the wedge in the ground are smooth. Okay, so first we are looking at this in the ground frame. So we have already seen this in the ground frame. Block is moving to the side, the wedge is moving to the side. Okay, next let us move on to the frame for which the question was asked. The question was asked in which frame? The question was asked in the wedge frame with respect to the wedge. So I'll show you how does a block move in the wedge frame. So see, this is the wedge frame. What I'm doing is I'm fixing the view on the wedge, okay? And uh, this is the ground. This dark blue small block that you see is fixed to the ground. And so let us see how is this now. Okay, so with respect to the wedge, okay, the block is sliding down and the ground is moving that side with respect to it. So what the acceleration you are seeing now, that is what is being asked in the question. Okay, so we will give you two methods. The first is the standard method, okay, and the second is that awesome solution where you can complete this in just two steps, okay. So first let us go to the standard method. So in the standard method, initially we draw the free body diagram of the wedge okay, and uh, the normal reaction and mark the acceleration. So we write uh, the normal n cos 60 equal to mass into acceleration. Okay, So this for the wedge. Next NPD of the block with respect to the wedge. So this is a block with respect to the wedge. As wedge is a non-inertial frame, we need to apply a pseudo force on the block. Okay, so we have applied a pseudo force on the block, and again uh, in the both the directions we have written the normal reaction, and along the incline we write another equation. Okay, so totally, uh, what are the variables that we get? Tell me, we get a1, a2, normal reaction. So this is one equation, second equation, and the third equation. So all these equations we need to solve, and we will get the answer as 2g by 2. You all know this as this is the standard procedure. Now let us move on to the awesome solution. Okay. So we will take the variables like this. Okay. This is a1. Okay, A1 is acceleration of block with respect to which. Okay, A1 is the acceleration of block with respect to which. Okay. A2 is the Acceleration of which? Okay. Uh, so from the question he has given this is 8 and 16. I'll just take this as uh, m and this is 2m. Okay. And he has given the angle theta also here. 30 degrees. That's okay. Okay. So now 
So now look at this method very closely. Okay. Now this is moving in this direction with respect to the wedge. Wedge is moving in this direction. Is there any horizontal force on this system? There is no external horizontal force on the wedge plus block system. Okay. Which means the acceleration of center of mass of the wedge plus block in the horizontal direction is zero. Right. So let us write this down. Acceleration of COM in horizontal direction is zero. In horizontal direction is zero. Okay. So in the horizontal direction, what is the acceleration of this A2? So I'll just write the equation 2m A2 in this direction. What is the acceleration of this one in the horizontal direction? A1 cos theta minus A2. Okay. So equal to minus this equal to 0. I'm just writing it this side. Equal to m into A1 cos theta minus This is our equation 1. Okay. Next, what we are going to do is, in the ground frame, in the ground frame, in this direction, okay, what is the force acting in this direction on this mass, mg sin theta, right? So, the net force equal to the net acceleration of this block in this direction, okay? So, I will just write down, next one, mg sin theta, equal to the total acceleration of this block is this vector plus this vector right so in this direction we can say it is a1 plus the component of this in this direction okay so there will be a1 minus a2 cos theta so equal to m into a1 minus a2 cos That's it. That's it. See, we just have only two variables and two equations and just we put A2 from here in this equation and we get the answer. Okay. So, it's an awesome simple method and it can be completed very fast using this. Okay. So, let us solve for this and see what is the answer. Okay. So, what we will do, put the value of a2. See, we need to find a1, right? So, put the value of a2 in terms of a1 from here in this equation. Okay. So, what do we get? M and M cancelling out here. Here also M and M cancelling out. G sin theta equal to a1 minus. So, this is cos theta. What is A2 taking from here? I'll just take this A2 this side, it becomes 3A2. So A2 becomes A1 cos theta by 3. So this becomes A1 cos theta divided by 3. Okay. So from this directly we can find out if theta is 30 degrees, what can we say? This will be G by 2 equal to A1 into 1 minus. 1 by 3. What is cos square theta? It's 3 by 4. Right? So just cancel out these two. And from here, this is 3 by 4. So you get a1 equals to 2g by 3. Okay. So see, the difference in the previous method and this method is that in the previous method we had an extra variable which was the norm. Okay. And here we have eliminated that variable. There is no normal only here. And because we have eliminated one variable, we have got lesser number of equations. So lesser number of equations, lesser number of steps, lesser number of silly mistakes, less time, better rank, take you to the top. Okay. So I hope you all like this. See you all in the next video.